Welcome back. And we are with Erica and Tina from Mary Mary, yes. the reality show yeah. that's a hit. Yes. And we find out in season three that your husband was unfaithful while you were on the road. How was that with the cameras and everyone watching? Well, you know, going back to when we started doing this, we committed to being honest. We committed to not having a scripted show. We made sure we was executive producers before we ever signed on the dotted line. We negotiated a good deal for ourselves. Yes. And so the edits had to go through us. So we knew that we were going to be telling our true story. And if that was the case, I wasn't going to try to script it. We wasn't going to try to have a scripted fake kind of thing. Because if you're trying to show people what it looks like to be a believer of yeah. Christ, good, bad, and different. You have to show them the ups and the downs. You and do. also not to, oh, we'll show this, but we won't show them that. Yeah, because that, that's not, and the reason why people think I got to be perfect. And you, they think that we don't deal with anything and anything that we deal with, it's just, it just goes away immediately because we... Some of us are representing like life is perfect, and so people think everything is perfect. You got all the money, you got all the perfect situations. There's never any stress in your life. And so when it came time to show this, first of all, I decided to talk about it because for me, I didn't want to be hostage to this secret. I didn't want to be hostage to shame. Like, what if somebody, I didn't want to be running around like, what if, what if? Like, well, let's let everybody know about it. Yeah. Let's just go on and feel shamed and embarrassed. And let's get over it, because that's in true Tina nature. I'm not holding on to something for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. I'm just not. Either I'm going, this it's is driving me crazy, I'm going to just fall out and die, or I'm going to live. And well, the, but what you I, said earlier, though, about the idea that, you know, you want to try to forgive this, that, that's a big deal. I got, I got biblical rights to get up out of here. I'm gone. That's the first <laughs> thing that I thought, and I spazzed out for seven days. I was very ungodly. I spazzed out because I was like, this is everything that I know to be my life. God, why did this happen to me? I was mad at God. I was mad at everybody. And I was just like, I'm going to do something crazy, and I'm going to hurt the world because I'm hurting. And I felt like I was losing it, and I was like, if I don't forgive, I'm going to lose it. Because mm -hmm. I, was, I was giving in to the pain. Yeah. Into the, the it was it was the most oh, devastating. Well, it see. hurt to have my eyes open. It hurt to just be alive, breathing every day. And I was like, if I don't let go of this, this is gonna kill me. And either I'm gonna die yeah. or I'm gonna live. But that's why I find it so powerful. And as we're talking, my hairs are standing because I can see and feel right now that there are women yes, who are in that situation, yes. who are in church, who, you know, they, they tithe, they do all these things, and mm -hmm. then, you know, their husbands, you know, fall short. And, mm -hmm. and so to have women like yourselves, to be that real, mm -hmm. is what people are yearning for. Absolutely. People are yearning for and a the real, the, 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 the honesty. Yeah, I think this has given total validity to the music that we've sang yeah. over the years. Mm. From the very first song, everything that could go wrong all went wrong at one time. So yeah. much pressure fell on me. I thought I was going to lose my mind. But Lord, I know you want to see if I will hold on through these trials, but I need you to lift this load because I can't take this no more. Exactly. Take the shackles off my feet so I can dance. Whether exactly. it's that or can't give up now or in the or morning you'll be all right. Walking. When I went through this, uh, yeah. it took a lot to put one foot in front of the other because for many days I stayed locked up in my room. Yeah. I tried to do the whole for, the forgiveness thing. I, that, my, my confession was, I'm going to forgive. I never knew what that process was going to look like. Yeah. And the TV cameras got the process. Mm -hmm. I didn't even think out the whole, I'm going to forgive. I just knew if I don't, I'm lost. Because mm. if I do whatever I do with a lot of passion, yeah. I'm going I'm to be all the way wrong or you're going to be all hard. The way. Or, yes. or I'm right. going all the way to God. And yeah. so I realized going the other way, I was like, I don't like the way this feels. Um, if I it was stay the hardest in this place, thing to watch. It was the I wanna, hardest thing I want to wanna ask you. I want to I I go back. How did you get into singing together, and did you always want to do that? And did you think of it originally just as a career, or did you think that it was something that God would use? We were working in music, but we weren't like pursuing it like, I want to be a solo star. I want to be, we you were just be working in music. Star. I just wanted to sing. You just wanted just to wanted, sing. Yeah. 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 One experience in a choir rehearsal. I was singing and I closed my eyes and I imagined that everybody was gone and I was just singing to God. Mm. When I opened my eyes, the choir and everybody there had their hands up and they were worshiping God. And I said, I want to do that for the rest of my life. I want to affect people that way. Mm. I, it wasn't yeah. about rare carpets or glam and right. glitz. It was right. about knowing that something that I said, sang or did yeah connected somebody to God. That is so humbling and so unbelievable every time it happens. So anytime we're on stage or whether I'm on stage by myself and you look at their faces and you're going, it's happening again. Mm. You used me again. It's mm. just, it's amazing yeah. every single time. Well, speaking about that, we know you are. <laughs> I have your album. Artist. It's called Help. Help. Help, uh, indicative of so what I needed all through And she is no longer Mary Mary. She is Erica Campbell. Oh. Uh, wow. The solo artist. I see. Does that make you stop just? It, okay. Wait. Does that make my heart you just stop it? No, wait a minute. My heart does, that, does that make you just Mary? 
I'm just Tina. Oh, you're yeah, right. Tina, I got it. Okay, okay, wait, no, okay, let's there. clear it up. Okay. Mary Mary is taking a break, not right. a breakup. Okay. Tina wanted space and time to just be herself. Yes. Um, and I felt mm -hmm. like I needed time to stand on my own two feet and find out who I was when I wasn't next to my sister. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a big sister. So I'm always kind of protective and, you know, we're going to do this. And so I needed to just be me. And I think as we do that, we are evolving into individuals that will make the group stronger when we come Absolutely. back together. But the music that I wrote and came up with during this time, that kind of had to be a soundtrack even for me because while Tina was going through, we still, we lost our father last year. We, we had changes in our management. It was just chaos all year long. And so every song that I wrote was something that was very strong. And on the cover, it's, I have a tear coming down my face, but it's a lot of strength in my face because I was determined not to lose, not to fall apart and not to break in that year. I'm yeah. trying to watch my sister and be strong for her. And as soon as I get off the phone, I'm crumbling and crying. And my husband's like, okay, I, I need you to pull it together just a little bit. This is my sister. We have We've to finish, we have to finish the song. Can yeah. you take that emotion put right. in the studio? Right. Thank you. So, you know, just to be here and to have this album and you know to have her be my cheerleader it's just it's absolutely amazing and that says something because sometimes it's That's hard to it's not always the case it ain't to, hard for us to and I'm separate gonna tell you why Thomasina and Eddie that would be my mother and, and father mother. ladies and gentlemen they did not allow animosity between no. us when we were little we couldn't we, say I hate you no and if we had an argument she said you go hug your sister we kind of we didn't hug each other for like years because we, we didn't like up. hugging it just always felt it was pressure because this is what we had to do so your parents did not not let they you fight. Did no, Hold on a not. second. Hold on a second. Do you hear that? Did everybody First hear all, that? My mother and father was. It was no. Well, let's talk to the kids. Let's no. negotiate. Let's yeah. see yeah, what no, they do. They were like, yeah, yeah. I'm we, the mother and father. Oh. I'm responsible for you. If anything happens, the authorities are coming to me. It is my responsibility. Right. So I'm your opinion. And I'm your options, yes. I'm your choices, I'm your questions yes, and preach. your answers. Yeah. No, it was, and oh, it wasn't like great. we were hostage and didn't get to have our own, you know, identity. Right. But our parents let us know. I am the adult, I'm the authority, and you are the child. And, and how many of you were listen. there? How many of you were Nine. there? Nine. Nine. And, yes. my, and my mom had a bleeding heart, so sometimes there were 13, because my had no, an aunt That's like who zone had... defense. It becomes that's... a whole different thing. <laughs> your mom... Oh. Now listen, Your mother is a just... saint. She's a saint. She, you are a saint. I love you. We, we I don't know have, you, and I love we you. We just have a couple of seconds. Okay, <laughs> what is next? Oh, what is this next? Well, Erica's... This season finished. This season, yeah, we're in the middle of the Mary Mary season. Erica's got her solo project. She was nominated for a Grammy for one song, so hopefully the whole record will get nominated. I I was literally composing a prayer, confessions that I was talking, speaking to God right. during this time. It was something that I was composing daily to speak over myself, to oh. pray for myself, to tell God Every my truth. Every time her actions wow. would contradict what God said about yeah. her, yeah. then she we would, would find it. the scriptures and write it down. And I'm going to quote this about myself. I know what I feel. Wow. I know what I think. I know I'm angry. I know I'm upset. But I'm going to say that I have the peace of God. I'm going to say yeah. that I'm better than this. This thing kept growing. It was literally something that I read and took three minutes, and then it grew to 45 minutes to read and now it's going to be available to other people because it literally was what sustained me. So when can it be available? This year. I don't know exactly so this year. when, but this year. Do you have a publisher? I'll yeah. hook you up. I'll hook you up. Thank you. Yeah, people like yeah. Writer to writer. Major biography. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Ladies, yeah. this was so amazing. Yeah. Thank you. I will be looking for the book. I will be downloading the album because yes. I have to support. Fantastic. Uh, the show is amazing. I hope to see more of you and we just truly thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much thank and you. God bless. Thank you.